Hey everyone, it's 5th of July, I've come back down the plot. I've not been down for probably a week or just over a week and it's surprising how things can get out of control, you know. Um, I've just been too tired to really do anything, so I thought I'd better come down because it's time to spray my spuds again. Uh, I can't see any blighters yet, but my first early is I'm going to dig I'm going to dig that first row up thing today and get them out. Um, so I'll have a quick look around see what, so you can see what I've just walked onto. And I've got a lot of jobs to do. Uh, we'll go over over here to Big Sunflowers. Um, I don't know what, how these giant ones are going to do because they're starting to form the head now and they're, they're nowhere near high enough really so I'll just leave them to it now. Um, so it's just for a bit of fun and we'll just see what happens. I mean they might have fallen the head and push up. I'm going to cut a few of the, uh, the finished heads off off of these now. I think these are uh, Moulin Rouge. Just to let a bit of light through. I think that's been the problem. Not much light getting to the back. Oh well it's just a bit of fun. Uh, sweet peas, looking quite nice. That sunflower's decided to uh, open its head. Strawberries, well, there's a load of strawberries underneath. Courgettes have romped on it. I, I, well, last time I was here, I completely picked all the courgettes that were tiny, you know, tiny, you know, and they, as courgettes do, start shoving them out everywhere. So, looks like it's uh, going to be a a bit of a cropping day today. Blueberries, um, I've had a few bugs on them and I think it's the cranberry worm or whatever it is, a cranberry fly. Um, so I should keep an eye on them. I came down and I just picked a few off. There were some telltale signs um, but there's absolutely stacks of berries on them. You know that are ripe now. Here's a telltale sign. Well it's nice to shine anything. I thought it was a little hole. So uh, yeah I mean you, you end up with um, like a little silky web, sometimes a leaf's folded over and stuck to the end of the berry and inside's a little grub so uh, that's another nuisance I've got to contend with but, uh, as soon as there's nowhere on this berry I'll show it my gob hmm, nice that right, Teleriac um, it looks like it's bulking up a bit at the bottom so it's just a case of going along and taking any of the fallen leaves sort of thing you know I mean I'm not going to pull that off yet and um, I'll leave it a bit longer but peas so they've romped up flowers on them there's probably a few pods here and there they look closely enough um, oh the garlic that I pulled last time put it in my shed to dry out a bit and yeah you can see it's, just, it's split fine there's plenty of uh, plenty of cloves on that it's a good size bulb um, I think I'm going to actually pull the rest of my garlic today because it started to, some of it started to topple over a little bit. I'll just get it out and stop the rust spreading everywhere. Um, need to do another pick on these peas. I mean, all together now I've had just over, uh, it's about two kilo of peas I've had off, mainly just this net and the second net so far, and I've got another crop today. So, uh, plenty of peas. Celery, well, it's, it's, getting quite tall now so some more of them egg things I don't have no idea what they are I'll find out but it's sort of blanching itself in the middle but I might try and blanch some of it you know by covering it you know around the stems I'll probably have some French beans French climbing beans to harvest today there might be a few lower down that are actually a bit a bit past it so all the hooks we've got down here yeah I mean they're a bit too long for me but I'll, I'll have them like you know uh, I prefer them sort of, you know, that sort of size and ass. But these are the cobra. Uh, most of them seem to have uh, made their way up the canes. This endive, I need to do another pick on this. I mean, this cure's standing okay. The freckles is alright. Um, God knows how this heart's going to be on this uh, on Dave, because I did, I did tie these up to blanching, but they've had a bit long, really. So, it's it could be rotten in the middle but we'll open it out see if it's nice and pale well it's alright actually it's nice and pale so that won't be bitter or as bitter you know if you eat some of this tough stuff outside it's it's a bit a bit nasty but uh, I'll have you in a bit and Kane can have uh, the outside stuff this iceberg no one seems to be eating it so I'm just going to get rid of it today make, you know, make a little air space it can go in compost heap uh, no sign of rust flex on any of this lot down here, my spring onions and shallots. 
more beetroot to harvest today some scabby cabbages but I'll take some of them uh, that cauliflower today as well I think some of them are starting it's just I need to start coming up a bit more regular I'll take a few today um, the uh, golden acre cabbage I need to start taking some of these heads before they erupt there'll be some broccoli spears to, to harvest some of them have gone a bit over but still go down alright Hey spuds, these are looking pasty and ill. Um, so they've, always, they've obviously finished, you know, so I'm going to get rid of the tops and probably dig that row up. It just let a bit of air flow in, I can kind of look underneath, see if there's anything suspect underneath. Because that's the only problem, I can't see if any spores have gone low down. You know, and if there's blight forming low down. Um, so garlic, it's looking a bit poorly sick now. Most of the plants are yellow. So I don't really think there's enough green on the plants to actually support them. So some are, some are starting to topple. So I think for the sake of a week or two, I'm just going to pull the bed, you know, pull them all out. And I'll probably cover the bed over till I've got the other stuff ready to go in. Uh, still a lot of, I mean, I need to, it's like that iceberg there, it's just gone to seed. It's the only really ones that have blown this year, to be honest. I mean, some of the freckles are starting. But uh, like I say, I've, I've kind of, Freckles was new, Cure was new, Sweet Success was new this year, so kind of worked out what I'm going to be growing. Um, that you know that I prefer the Freckles is okay, but uh, definitely the Cure and Sweet Success is a definite for next year, as is Mazur, which I'm growing in the garden. Uh, onions are getting some mould on them, so I might actually try and wipe some of this off today. I don't want it to spread everywhere. I've never actually had it before on the onions, like mildewy sort of stuff. So I need to keep it out of that and I'll just sit another seeds back. So I'll get rid of that. But yeah, this shouldn't be long, hopefully. Another three or four weeks, hopefully, they'll start toppling a bit. Um, doesn't seem to spread any of the mould onto the, uh, the Santero from the seeds that I did, it's just this um, stir on. Been, it's been damp and humid. Not ideal blight conditions, really. So, but looking at the foliage, there's nothing that screams out blight to me as yet. Like I said, you don't know what's uh, going on down below. Apart from that, I'll have to get stuck in, and I'm, I'm going to have a load of stuff to take home. Right, so I'm going to get on with all these jobs, and then. Uh, I'll put the camera on later on, I've got all everything harvested because I ain't got much time today and I need to get stuck in. I've got to cut the grass first of all, which is a job I hate doing, but I'd rather have a bit of grass than walking about and stodge. You know, it's, it is helping to keep the you know, soil a bit uh, less compacted, I suppose. Right, so I'll, uh, I'll get on with that, but I'll have to pick the blueberries first because I'll start using the streamer and I'll be knocking all the right berries off and splattering blueberry juice everywhere. So I'll get on with that and I'll put the camera on later on. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, I've done some harvesting. I've not dug these spuds up yet, I'm going to do that in a minute. I've been here absolutely hours. A lot longer than I planned to anyway. So, um, I'll show you. Have a quick look around and see what I've done so far. I've just cut the tops off these Casablanca, so I dig these up. I think it's about, I don't know, 20 plants to dig up. I've not sorted that mould out on the onions yet. Uh, I've harvested some cabbage, some collie and whatnot. Uh, taking the iceberg out of this bed garlic is out so it looks a bit odd having an empty bed now I was going to cover it up but uh, I'm going to leave it a few days let the stuff dry off on top um, what have we got around here beetroot as well taken out spring onions thinned out the endive taken a couple home got rid of the iceberg from there harvested some french climbing beans peas as well so I'll look at what I've got so far before I dig these spuds up because I'm going to brew first. Oh, and cold yet, of course, I've harvested some of them. Just make sure my kettle's not boiling away. No. Ah, garlic's all just hung up here for now. Um, it's all washed off. Yeah, there are a, a couple of small ones, not many. Most of them are sort of, you know, a decent sort of size. So they've all split. Every single one. So, 
I can't remember how many it is. It's about, about 60 anyway. They're all, I don't know how you can see, but they're all on top of the fruit cage. Stacks them. So, take them all. I don't really want to take them all to dry them, but I don't want to leave them here. I guarantee someone will whip them. I mean, that's the tiniest one there. Pathetic. It's about, it's about like a pickled onion, silver skin pickled onion. But um, most of them are bigger than golf ball. I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with that. Just check the old kettle's not boiling. Yep, bear with me, so let's turn this off. It starts spitting everywhere. Uh, right, we've got. These are off the very first two bushes, which are right there and there, because these other ones are slightly later. But these are actually off these end two, which are kind of a bit early for them, really. Um, some strawberries, a couple of the golden egg cabbage. I've stripped them back till I've got rid of all the slugs, because the slugs are usually burrow into the bottom. So um, that's one of the uh, Durham early's. Supposed to be a green, but it's hearted up, so courgettes. Not small at all. A lot of peas. And I've. Uh, what else have I got down? I'll move that end out of the way. Uh, a lot of white lisbon spring onions, beetroots. Had a white beetroot amongst them. God knows what that's like. I just harvested one of my collies. So, uh First one I've grown of uh, Clapton. They, they, they seem okay, not quite as big as the Avalanche. And they don't seem to cover as, as well on their own as the Avalanche. But um, I'm happy with it. There's some weight in that, you could do some damage with it anyway. Um, yeah, French climbing beans in there, some of them are a bit big, but they'll go down. Bag of the old uh, the broccoli side shoots. So I'll get on with these spuds. And see how far I get because I still need to spray the rest of them for blight yet. And uh, I'm starving and it's about 8 o'clock at night so I ain't got long left. So I better crack on. Right, that's all the Casablanca. All dug up now. Um, bit disappointed. There are a lot of split potatoes. You know, I've thrown some away that were like completely sort of unpeelable really. So I've kind of separated them. These are the split ones I'm going to try and do something with. There's just under 14 pound of spuds in there, in that bucket. These are all the uh, non-split ones. It was quite weird actually, it's like some plants were split and some weren't. It's quite strange, but I've got 21 pound of spuds in this. So, and they're more like a, well I'd say a first early size to be honest. You know, they're rather the odd big one, but I mean, it's fine. So I dug up one of my second earlies, just to see. So, it might be just a lucky plant, but I just dug up one plant, I mean Maris Piers, down this bottom end, and none of them have got a split in them. None of them at all. They're, they're fine. Yeah, they're not perfect, we're in nice shape and everything, but they're all right. Yeah, perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with them at all. Covered in mud. But. So I don't know. I'm hoping that uh, it's more just the Casablanca's that it was a problem on. So I'm going to get these sprayed. It's gone past nine o'clock at night, so I must have been here about six hours. I planned on coming down for a couple of hours. So I'll get these sprayed for blight. Head back home and uh, get something to eat. So uh, thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.